Acute myeloid leukemia, or ML, is a type of blood cancer, a cancer so rare that only about 30,000 people every year in the U.S. will be diagnosed, and it's commonly treated with chemotherapy. UC Health in Aurora is part of a new clinical study that gives AML patients an option to chemo by offering a low-dose, low-intensity regimen. Our Byron Reed sat down with a patient to hear firsthand how the treatment's working. <laughs> Being a sister can have its advantages, especially when times get tough. January 15th, 2019. Penny Shuey was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, or AML, an aggressive type of cancer that can affect every organ of the body. I had been sick for a couple weeks. I thought I had just had the flu, and, um, you know, I was very tired. And her sister Shannon was there for support. When she went into the hospital, I drove out, like, immediately that day and she's not lying when she said she was at death's door. A diagnosis Penny wasn't quite ready for. You know, I'm 52 years old and I was completely healthy. The average age of diagnosis of this disease is 68. And what we know is that older patients do really poorly with really intensive chemotherapy. Dr. Dan Pallier is an oncologist for UC Health and offered Penny an option, a clinical trial of a new treatment that targets leukemia stem cells. It's a combination of two therapies. One is just a pill. The other is a low dose, low intensity chemotherapy regimen. We found that we can get most of our patients into a response, a remission, that these remissions can last a very long time, and that this is very well tolerated. I was admitted, you know, into the ICU on January 15th. I was at home back in my own bed on January 24th. Giving these two sisters more time to bond and take advantage of their time together. I mean, when you got anybody in your corner sitting there praying for you and, the, you know, to know that they really do care, you know, that means all the world to you. For next, <laughs> I'm Byron Reed. Dr. Palia says 85% of the patients in this trial are in full, uh, full remission, and 91% had at least some response to the treatment.